I just remembered I was meant to start vlogging today. Mother and I are out shooting. It's a nice big shoot day. We're doing shooting too in our spot. <laughs> Oh my god, I was gonna get changed and go there. Hopefully they're gonna move. So yeah, mother and I are out on a big shoot day today. We haven't actually come out shooting together and done pics in so long, so I've been so busy. The week before Since Manchester. when was the last time? The week before Manchester. We didn't come out Manchester. Oh no, because we weren't here Manchester week. So it was the week before Manchester. But did we go out that week? Because you were away, weren't you? I don't think we've been out since. No, I wasn't away. Oh, oh, yeah, two weeks was. before. I think it's been a month. No. I think it's been at least three weeks since we've come out shooting, which is a bit of a madness. So yes, it's a very busy day because we're shooting all morning. And then I'm actually looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses tonight. <laughs> Mum and I are gonna go and look at some houses for Hannah and I, because as I said in one of my like last vlogs, we are moving. So Hannah and I are moving in together. So it's super exciting. So. Yeah, got a really busy day. Just shot the first outfit, which is this. Really nice little, I think it's, how do you say it, Adenola? How do you say it? Adenola. Adenola, hold on, let me flip this down so I can see. Sorry, all about Adenola. Actually got sent this from um, Lux Girl, who had like a YouTube channel. And they sent me like the cutest little uh, like package. And it had this set in, like a big pick and mix bag. It had a really cute mask, I've got it with me. A little pink like um, satin mask. It had one of those little, um, you know those like female body shaped like candles, really cute. So I'm saving it for the new house. And yeah, just loads of really, really sweet bits. So thank you to Lux Girl. Shall we do a walk? Or shall I walk backwards? Like you follow me. And then I'll spin. <laughs> not, bad. Right. not bad. Not bad. Right, one more time. Let's not look at it and just pull okay. it around. Well, I'm not looking at it. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, am I zoomed in? What is wrong with this camera? Third outfit is this super cute little blue dress that I got from Zara. You'll have seen it in my last Zara haul. Let's find some good lighting. There we go. Um, so yeah, mother and I are shooting this. Then we've got one more look and then I'm gonna change again and then we're gonna go to Farm Girl, I think for lunch maybe. Yeah. Mum's decided she's gonna be a boxing photographer. Yeah. We've just decided her fate. Um, <laughs> it's taken me all these years. It's taken me all these years and she I'm, finally knows what she wants I'm, to do with her I'm life. grown up all of a sudden. She's finally she's grown, grown up. up. <laughs> I think I know who that girl was that Which we saw girl? shooting. Okay. I, I don't know her like well enough to be like, hi, like how are you? But in my head I'm like, I know, like I've seen her pictures and stuff. Like I can't put my finger on what her name is. Oh right. I think it might be Jessica. Jess. You yes. should have said hello. Well, it's really embarrassing because what if she's like, who the hell are you? Why don't you just say, I know you from I've seen you on Instagram. Yeah, she was shooting. She must have been shooting with her boyfriend. They must have not been at work. Yeah. Unless that was her like photographer, but he looked very boyfriendy. Anyway. <laughs> Okay. We've got lots of houses to go and look at. Exciting. I'm gonna film them all, but just, just, just primarily to show Hannah, and then maybe at some point, or if we decide it's like they're not for us, or if it's like the one we end up going with, maybe I'll put it in, or maybe yeah. I'll show you like once we've moved in, I'll like come back to this day and be like, this is the yeah, first time is, I yeah. saw it. Because um, we're looking at some that are going around there. There you go. We are looking at some that are really cute today, so you never know. Today might be the day. We had a full-blown audience at <laughs> Outfit Numero Quattro. And it's just the black Zara dress, you know, the little backless one. 
that I wore on the Friday night in Manchester when Gabby and I got really drunk because I, again, didn't get a picture in it and I really liked it, so I wanted to get a pic and I wore it with these little naked fashion heels and my black Zara bag. There must be a kid's school or like a primary school around here because when we were having lunch, all I could hear was kids singing Frozen, Let It Go. And now I've just got Frozen in my head. The last time Mum and I came to Farm Girl was, we think, we worked out about four years ago. And I will try and find the picture and insert it in, but we were in Notting Hill. And I remember I was wearing a red corduroy like mini skirt and a white t-shirt that had like no bra club written on it. And I got a picture of it next to a post box. And, oh, it was the day, actually it's in my vlog, it was the day that I first ever got my nose filler. And it's in my um, vlog that's called like, I got a non-surgical nose job or something. Um, and it's so cringe, like the vlog, I've watched it back since and it's literally like the cringest thing ever. Um, it's really awful. But yeah, so that is the last time I came to Farm Girl like four years ago and I've just, we just come back again today for lunch. Anyway, that was a really boring story. I don't know why I'm telling you that. <laughs> Gonna quickly just get a little pick in this outfit. Haven't you? I'm not sure. Here we go, boys. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've ever had the roof down in this. Well, I have loads of times. Well, I haven't. What I'm saying is, I haven't. Oh no, I have, I have. Yeah, Do you know, filmed in it. Yeah, because I remember I have a TikTok, I haven't posted it. I have oh. a TikTok of me singing, um, I had a dream that someday uh -huh. I would just fly, fly away. Right, what's up, Navi? Oh, alrighty then, boys. Let's go and look at some houses. God, I'm so dehydrated. Oh yeah. my God, I look about a hundred. <laughs> I feel like you say that in at least 50% of my vlogs at one point you'll say oh my I God, look, look about at 100 I just look so old No, Amy, something's going wrong <laughs> <laughs> Something's gone wrong I look, <laughs> look at all these wrinkles <laughs> You don't look that old, mother Honestly. You're pretty, you're doing alright <laughs> I thought you were going to say you do really <laughs> No, I'm saying you're doing all right. Oh, thank you. Right, where are we going? Shit the bed. I am hot mama Sita. I didn't really mm. think this outfit through. Oh. I thought I'd have this on for like the house viewing. This would be the last uh, most appropriate outfit for the house viewing. <laughs> I can't really <laughs> walk up to the house viewing in a little black backless dress. Or oh, your pink sports oh, thing. The pink. Well, I could have come in this the pink sports set, but a bit much. If I wanted a discount, maybe. Yeah. I could have rocked up in that. Um, you haven't got your belt on, darling. Do you know this is like honestly the most frustrating thing? I've just had this like random breakout. This is so annoying because my skin has been so bloody good recently. Like I've stopped taking my skin tablets. I was taking tablets for my skin. These have just kind of popped up in the last like day or two. This one's been here for a little while. I did pop it, but I've just woken up today with these two as well, which is super, super annoying. But what can you do? I think it might be because of like Manchester and like my birthday and just like drinking a lot and just being like super busy. But yeah. Anyway, I feel like a little bit of a zombie today. Mum and I didn't get home last night until like quarter to eight and we left the house in the morning at like nine o'clock. So it was a super, super like busy, hectic day. Very, very productive to be fair. We managed five outfit shots. And then we obviously had lunch and then we saw I think seven properties and they were like all over London so like we were literally driving everywhere but yeah very productive day unfortunately don't think we found the one the house some of them were like decent but do you know I just didn't walk in anywhere and get that like feeling that was like this is ours like this is our house like this is the one I can imagine Hannah and I living here and when you're paying like a lot or as much as we're going to be paying because London house prices, like whether you're buying or renting, London house prices are extortionate. <clears throat> God, I feel like I'm not awake yet. Do you know like this is the first time I've spoken today and I feel like my voice is like not quite there. So when you're paying like that much, you want to find something that's like, obviously not perfect. Like I'm not an idiot. I know that like we're not gonna get something that's like 
perfect and like we are gonna have to compromise in some areas but you want something that is gonna feel super homely and something that's gonna feel like yours and you want to walk in somewhere and get that feeling that's like oh my god like I love it like I want to live here and I just feel like I didn't get that yesterday that's okay we keep looking we keep going I'm sure we will find it my battery died obviously because this is me that we're talking about I'm using this bare minerals um foundation stick and honestly I have to say it is very very slowly very quickly becoming like my favorite foundation I just think it looks really really nice on the skin I've been applying it with this which is the well, I don't really know it just says morphe 2 basically I got it in that uh, package Do you remember yesterday I was telling you about that package that Lux girl very very kindly sent me also in there was a pack of four morphe brushes so yeah and this one happens to be like the perfect brush for my foundation Maybe I'll zoom you in slightly. have to say the lighting in here for me to do my makeup is not great but I can't really prop you anywhere in my bathroom, which is kind of annoying. You've probably seen majority of the house on my videos anyway. I feel like when I move, maybe the day we move out, when we empty it, I'll do like an empty uh, house tour and show you the house. Just because there's no point in me doing like a full one with all my stuff in because I'm moving and you're gonna see all of this stuff like in the new house so I just feel like there's no point in you seeing it in here anyway I have quite a busy day again today I have got some filming to do this morning for a brand I need to film that and then I actually need to edit it and then send it off to the brand so that they can approve it for it to go live this week I am getting my second COVID jab. I've only had my first, obviously, if I'm getting my second. And then I'm actually going to Sandown Racecourse in Isha, which I've never been to. And I went to Isha High, I went to Isha College, and I lived in Isha for how long? Years, years and years and years. And I, I lived quite literally basically on the race course like I lived so so close and I have never been to Sandown races so me and my like girl group like my school girl group and all of our boyfriends are going to the races today <laughs> Craig David's playing which is like so random but also like really fun I've actually seen Craig David live before in Cardiff at like a really rogue festival like five years ago. But yeah, I think it will be really, really good. Currently the sun is shining, but it says it's gonna rain later, which is gonna be so annoying because I've planned to wear that blue dress that I shot yesterday from Zara, but it's very summery. So I don't know, I really hope it doesn't rain, but we shall see. It has been a day, it's now two o'clock. I've filmed, I've edited. I did decide to go for the blue Zara dress in the end. I've got a white Zara blazer on, which is very, very old. I've had it for probably like three years. I bought this white blazer in the vlog, in the Dakota vlog, when I stayed in the Dakota for the first time, and yeah. Gabby and I stayed there. And I bought this blazer in Manchester in the Zara. Go back and watch it. And I've just realized that I'm gonna have to go into my COVID jab wearing this outfit. And they are gonna think I've lost it, I think, because I'm a bit dressed up for a COVID jab, aren't I? And they're probably gonna be like, make sure you have a nice little rest. Yeah. Don't do anything too strenuous. Do the and I'm like going to the pub, going to get drunk, going to the races and watching Craigie D live. Is that it? No. No, keep going. So yeah, I'm off to get my second COVID jab. And then I'm going to the pub. What is she like? Get to see my little Frank. He's been away. <laughs> he's been in Saudi for the last, he's actually not been gone that long. The funny thing is, right, I wouldn't have even probably seen him. No. Since the last time I saw him to now, I wouldn't mm. have seen him and that whole time he's been in Saudi. But I know he's in Saudi, like I know he's not here. Mm. And like we haven't really spoken much because he's super busy and there's a time difference. So like it feels like he's not been here and it feels like I haven't seen him in ages, but this is like the shortest trip. 
and coming up he'll have trips that are like a month long because like through the year they get longer and longer and by March he's there for like five weeks um, which is so long I don't know how people do long distance relationships like I really I struggle but by the time it gets like four or five weeks I'm like boyfriend who what <laughs> <laughs> This is actually where Frank and I had our first ever like proper kiss, which is so cringe. Um, but it's quite cute as well, and I'm literally I can literally see the place where we were. And it was at his Christmas party two years ago. On Vlogmas, I'm like, oh, I'm going to like my old work Christmas party. They invited me, um, and I vlogged like a tiny bit of it, I think. Um, and yeah, that's where we when we first like got with each other, and I stayed the first night. I stayed at his. Um, which is so cute. So, yeah, and this is the first time we've come back. Maybe we can just share a few of these. What, the bar snacks, yeah. bar menu? Like some sausages. Yeah, they do sound really good. And then get a mate. <laughs> it's a bit blurred. Blurred, Amy. <laughs> it is. That's better. <laughs> Finally managed to get my nails done. I literally have been trying to get my nails done for the past like two weeks, and for some reason, something just kept cropping up, or like I was meant to have them done on Friday, and my COVID jab, you guys, made me so ill. Oh my goodness, I haven't even told you. We went to the races on the Thursday night, didn't we? And then by like 10 o'clock, I just started feeling like so weird. I just felt so just bizarre. And like, obviously I was drinking, which I shouldn't have been, but I just didn't feel normal. You know, when you, you just know something's off and then I was awake the entire night. Like I literally didn't sleep one inch, one inch, one wink. That's annoying. There's drilling going on outside. Okay, yeah, I literally didn't sleep one wink and then I spent the whole day Friday in bed. I was literally bed bound. I was meant to be going out with friends that evening for drinks and I couldn't go because I was just, I was so dizzy. Like whenever I would get up and get out of bed, I would honestly feel like I was going to fall over. I just can't explain it. I feel like my head was like full of water and I was just so weak and my body was just so like tired and exhausted and yeah it wasn't nice i felt really really bizarre until like four o'clock and then i managed to kind of get out of bed and come to the sofa but then i very quickly like had some food had a bath and got back into bed and then i actually watched twilight i love twilight so much i'm actually going to watch the all of them all of the trilogy this weekend because i'm actually home alone all weekend by myself frank's away and my mum's away so Actually, no, I'm going to go out on Saturday night. But yeah, I'm home like a lot of the weekend by myself. Anyway, basically, I had my nails booked in to get them done on Friday. And obviously, I had to cancel because I was so ill. So I got them done yesterday. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. Because they were goddamn awful. Like, they were practically hanging off. It was so bad. I think it had been four weeks since I got them done. Do you remember I got them done before? I literally got them done the day before the football final, England football final. So what, when was that? 
I think that was like the week before my birthday. So I think it had been at least three weeks. No, definitely been longer. I think like three and a half. Anyway, got them done. Really, really liked them. I just went for a super plain and simple color this time. That drilling is infuriating. <laughs> anyway, moral of the story is that I went for just this plain block color this time because I just thought, you know, let's take it back to basics. And I honestly just did not have the brain power or the like, well, one, the creativity to the patients <laughs> to think of nail art and sit there and get it done. I just thought, let's take it back to basics. Let's just get a nice block color. I did actually try and get clouds. So on these two like indexy ring fingers, whatever you call them. No, that's your index finger, right? These like ring fingers. I tried to like, I started getting clouds on them, but then they were doing them and I just thought they looked a bit weird. So I was like, guys, sack it off. Take it back to basics, block color. Let's just go for that this time. The only thing that's quite annoying is this one here on my thumb has chipped already. So like it literally chipped like an hour after I got them done yesterday when mum and I were out, which is super annoying. So I'm gonna have to go back to the nail salon either today or like tomorrow and redo it. And it's just very inconvenient. But anyway, uh, I've got some packages that I'm gonna open and it's such a nice day. So I thought I'd go outside. I'm actually going later to, um, meet Frank and his uncle and his auntie and his cousin and his roommate Amber and her boyfriend George because his cousin is a singer. She's like a artist, like singer, and she is doing a gig in London which is cool and it's it was meant to be ages ago but it kept getting cancelled because of Covid. Honestly guys my phone won't stop ringing. You know how I'm looking at houses? My phone, I mean, I've never in my life received so many phone calls. Still haven't found anywhere, by the way, in case you're wondering. And yeah, it's just at the moment, I think I'm going to be living in a cardboard box. <laughs> anyway, got this lovely package from Neil's Yard Remedies. Get your natural glow. We're beyond excited to share with you our brand new glow giving wild rose skincare collection. We've created a high performance certified organic skincare collection jam packed with all natural radiance boost all natural ra all natural radiance boosting ingredients. So I've got a wild rose AHA toner. Then this is a glow day cream. This is a facial oil and then we've got a eye brightener as well. And I actually took like all of that new skincare didn't I to Frank's on Sunday. Well at the weekend. Um used it for the first time on Sunday. And I actually really liked it. A bit like gutted that I took it to Frank's. I could just go and get it back, but um I wanted to take some skincare to his because I didn't want to have to keep lugging my skincare all the time back and forth to his like every time I go round because I have so much skincare like you have a, like a balm to take your makeup off then you have like a second cleanser then you have like a toner, a serum, a moisturiser, an eye cream like it's just a lot isn't it along with all your makeup like to carry with me every time I go to his and I just thought I have so many lovely skincare products I just thought why have I never thought to just take a set of them over to Frank's and just leave it there. So that's what I did with that stuff. And I'm kind of running out of all of my lovely Elemis, so it'll be nice to try a few new bits. So these look really, really nice. So thank you very much to Neil's Yard Remedies. Next on my little rounds of unboxing, I have this from Strathbury, which I am so excited to open. I've never had anything from them before, but I have actually heard of the brand. So I'm just <laughs> trying to get into it. Please bear with. It's like torture. Let me in. There we go. Dear Amy, we are delighted to connect with you and we hope you love this Strathbury style. Enjoy and we hope you will cherish it for years to come. Best, best wishes. God, I can't speak. Jennifer and the Strathbury team. That is so sweet. Here is the bag that I picked. It is absolutely stunning. I just love like this two kind of handle vibe it's so different and i thought for autumn it'd be perfect so this is the tri leather nano tote in forest black and cream so yeah i just thought oh i just thought it would go with like most outfits it reminds me a lot of my little black zara bag which obviously i wear to death so i know i'm just going to get a lot of use out of this let's see if i can do this one-handed not sure I can. Here is the complete 
finished product not a second handle it's like a protector so no one can get into your bag when it's like on your body which i think is so good and it just pops open like that and then clicks open like that and it's actually quite big so it will definitely fit everything i need in there and then it also has the extra like body strap so you can oh my god it's just so hard to do everything one-handed <laughs> there we go so you can wear it like crossbody and stuff like that so yeah i'm absolutely obsessed thank you so much to strathbury that is honestly so so kind and i know i'm gonna wear this to death throughout autumn right i am in a rush obviously to quickly take a parcel back to the post office and then get on my train to Frank's because we're going to a gig. So fun. I don't think I've ever been to a gig. What even is a gig? I don't really know. But yeah, I'm excited. It should be fun. <sighs> my room is such a state, honestly, it's quite literally giving me anxiety looking at it and I literally need to go. But I have a very cute outfit on. This is Oasis, my jeans are Oasis, and I'm gonna take this little bag, polo and bag, ASOS bag, which has got like my makeup and stuff in. Mum? I'm going. <laughs> I'm here. I'm coming around. Look, can't just look at this, look, quickly, because they'll be gone tomorrow. What is it? Well, it's from the cactus. It's weeding, but... Lovely. Aren't they lovely? And they're like those flowers, like in, you know, Dennis the Menace, where only flowers once and then it goes. So... Right. They'll flower now, and then they'll, by tomorrow they'll be wilted. They'll be gone. Right. Lovely. Aren't they gorgeous? Mum, that plant's had a bit of a shocker. I no, I, I did that because it was... It hasn't got holes in the pots and it was drowning. Okay. Okay, well, I'm leaving. Oh, I was going around that way. <laughs> You were coming around this way. I know. Okay, so, um, am I meeting you in town tomorrow? Probably not, I'll let you know. You're not taking the parcel? <gasps> the parcel! I'm not sure why I have sunglasses on my head when it is quite literally miserable, but uh, what can you do? So, I'm in London. I've actually been listening to old school Britney Spears and I just think she's such a legend. I need to cross this road. Crossing the road in London is a death wish, let me tell you. You just gotta kinda go for it, really. How cute is my little um, sunglass thing? Amber bought it for me for my birthday, so cute. Frank's best friend who he lives with. Yeah, she bought it for me for my birthday. She gave it to me yesterday, it's so cute. It's got like my name on it and it's got like really cute little like details. I'll show you in a bit. But I, oh, I'm gonna go into free people because I've never been in here before. And I have heard it's pretty nice. No, that's fine. Thanks so much, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Are 
these the only two you have in of this dress in these sizes? Um, we do have some more in. Do you? She loves this shop so much. Hey, does she? Hey, she that's has the little t-shirt, you know, like, I think it was like a charity t-shirt or something you guys did. Oh, with the band. Yeah, the yes. yeah. Oh, thank you so no much. Worries. Thank you. Hopefully we won't be back. Hopefully it'll yeah. fit. If not, yeah, there's yeah. no problem. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye. I have secured the package. Mum is going to be so surprised. So yeah, I wanted to buy Mum this little dress that she's been wanting for ages because she helps me with my work and stuff all the time and she helps me do all my like tax stuff so I thought I'd buy her a little bonus dress which she's been wanting for ages from Hayley Menzies and now I'm going to go to the shop and buy stuff for Spag Bowl because I'm gonna go back to Frank's I wasn't going to go back but just decided I might as well because I'm not gonna see him all weekend so I'm gonna make him spaghetti bolognese 